Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 56, it says in the figure shown above, the graph of the function g is a transformation of the graph of f. Which of the following is the equation for g? So we don't actually need to know exactly what the function's um, equa uh, equation is, even though they do give us f. Uh, and so to find out the function for g, we're going to take this function and apply the transformations that we need to get from this parabola uh, to this one over here in the top left corner. So you'll notice that they're both the same sort of width, right? Like this one's going over to, down to, from the vertex over to, down to. The width of both of these is the same. So the, the leading coefficient should be the same. It's negative one half. And that doesn't help us eliminate any answer choices, but I just want to show you why all of these are, are all negative one half out in front. So the next thing to do is figure out, okay, well, if there's no change and there's no dilation here, if it's not... So there's no compression or stretch or anything like that. The only transformations that are going on here are two shifts. So we have a shift to the left two, and we have a shift up three units. So I'm just kind of looking at where this vertex is versus this vertex, and we can do those shifts to come up with any point on the new function. So like if I take this point, for instance, notice if I go over two, up three, that transforms to this point. So these shifts are going to be reflected in these pluses and minuses in the new equation. When you shift to the left, um, you're actually going to be adding 2 to the x value. So we can see that we've got plus 2 and plus 2 here. Those both indicate a shift to the left 2 units. Okay, if you see x minus 2, that's a shift to the right. So we can eliminate both of these answer choices. We can also eliminate choice A because that does not show a shift to the left or the right. And so the last thing is this shift up. And then that, uh, uh, the shift up is going to be um, uh, a situation where you're adding a number to the, f the whole function. So um, we want to we have this plus 3 right here. So plus 3 means we're shifting up. So this plus 3 on the end indicates that we're shifting the graph up 3 units. And that's basically it, okay? So this other one, this minus 3, it would be minus 3 if it was shifting down rather than up. So we can eliminate this answer choice. The only correct answer choice here is going to be choice D. Um, so yeah, just make sure you understand the transformations. The left-right shifts do go sort of like in the opposite direction that you might think. Um, since this is x plus 2, you might think it goes to the right, but no, unfortunately, it does go to the left. If it was x minus 2, it would go to the right, um, but it does kind of go in the opposite direction that you might think. With the vertical shift, it does shift kind of in the direction that you would think it would. Plus goes up, minus goes down. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for number 56. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.